Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Here we are on March 7th, 2021. Just standing here in front of uh, my little peach tree, full of blossoms. And uh, I went through and uh, cross-pollinated these with all of those over there earlier today. I got a lot of blossoms on the uh, both trees so I wanted to get them pollinated and how did I do that well of course those of you who have been around a while know I don't have a lot of bees around here yet I'm working on that but I use a fine tooth uh, toothbrush a fine bristle toothbrush um, and all you do is actually act like it's a bunch of little bees legs and you just go in and pick up the pollen from the, these flowers like this. And you go from flower to flower. Pick up a bunch of pollen and then you take it over to the other tree. And you do the same thing. And then you come back to this tree and do it back again. And you do that back and forth a few times. And it takes the pollen from these flowers. Puts it into the po pollen. Mixes it with the pollen from those flowers and vice versa. So... Um, I've done that with uh, a lot of different plants, especially tomatoes. Um, there are other ways of pollinating tomatoes, but I find it just as easy and leisurable when it's a nice, uh, cool day to take care of stuff like that. So, I've got somebody just over in that direction somewhere who's doing some shooting. And by the sounds of the shots, they're not um facing in a good direction so i gotta keep my eye out for that and see who that is and what they're doing but anyway uh just to be on the safe side uh, those of you who worry uh my tool is always close by so that's why i have tool racks everywhere and uh yeah so anyway what did i do today so today I told you I brought a bunch of scions up from Orange County and uh, I had them wrapped in plastic wrap. That's kitchen saran wrap. And uh, they they were starting to uh, oxidize on some of the, the cuts. So I decided, well, I'm going to get these things grafted very quickly. So on this pear tree, this is one of the grafts right here. Now, normally, I would wrap the whole graft in uh, plastic after making the graft uh, but uh, or with the uh, parafilm tape. But uh, this is a Sharon apple. And what's a Sharon apple? Well, it's actually a, a Gala apple. And what I did was uh, I got some scions from my friend Sharon's uh, Gala apple tree. So I called them Sharon apples. Why not? I've got Anna apples on the other tree. Somebody named them Anna apples, so why not? And I don't know what kind of apples these are, but we'll find out down the line when they uh, start sprouting. But uh, they're already starting to show signs of uh, good, strong life in those. And uh, if nothing comes out of it, then uh, I'll prune those off and uh, I'll graft a, uh, a good apple onto it. I've got extra apples. Okay, so here's another one of the uh, Sharon apple, and I marked it 3721. That's when I put it on there. Now, this was a, a bark graft, okay? And this one, I used my grafting tool that cuts the little uh, loops out of it. Uh, so I wanted to see which one does better. Now, this one is still flat pliable, but it's drying out because I never wrapped it in plastic. So we'll see what happens with that. And then this one over here um, is also drying out a little bit, but it's still pliable. It's still flexible. And um, that's a, a cleft graft. So we'll see how that works out. But uh, I've got a, a few different grafts on this tree. We'll see what we get from that down the line. Now, I'm sorry I didn't have time to set up my tripod and uh, do this, but I had to go from tree to tree to tree to tree. And I didn't want to have to keep uh, moving the, um, the tr camera tripod around. 
it was a real pain in the neck. But if anybody wants to know about different graphs, um, I did some different graphs today. I did uh, uh, a cleft graft. I did a, a couple of bark graphs. I did uh, bud graphs. So, uh, you know, bud chip graft, things like that. So if you, if you want to know about that stuff, um, just leave it down. Leave your question down in the comment section, and I might have to just do a special episode. Okay, so on this one, this is a pear tree also, and um, this was a, a bosque uh, graft I did on uh, February 25th, and that's how I wrap them in plastic so that they don't dry out. So down here, on the bottom here, I put another uh, Sharon's apple, and that's a, a bark graft, so we'll see how that one does too. Now on the top of it, as you see it's white right on the tip. I used um, clay as a sealer for the top of it because I don't want the graft to dry out. Now this graft has been on here for quite a while now uh, and it looks like it's really healthy. So we'll see what happens with that one this year too. Hopefully all these grafts will take. Um, that's why you do multiple grafts. If you have a couple that don't take, you still got others that did. All right, now we're coming down here. All right, I, I still have the uh, air layer going on on here. And um, we'll see what the, what happens with that down the line. Uh, this one, I did a uh, a bark graft with a bosque pear. I, sh I think I showed you that one already. Now, this is a bud graft up here, a bud chip graft. And uh, this is a cleft graft right here. But today, I put on... Um, uh, right here, I put a Sharon apple on here. So I use my new grafting tool that cuts the, um, the loop cut out of it to graft that because I had two, uh, the scion and the branch the same size. So that's how that one got put together. Um, I should actually take these, uh, these other leaves down the line off because they'll try to compete with it. But I'm going to leave those on there for right now. And this one actually should be all uh, trimmed off too so that it doesn't compete with that, that one. But this tree is really healthy and strong. It's got a good sap flow going. We'll see. I, it, everything might take. And then I can trim back the branches like these that don't um, produce anything. And we'll go back to the uh, this, this tree being multiple fruit with the grafts. And I could always, uh, you know, Cut, cut like this branch right here and do another graft on there. Fun stuff. Now I'm going to also experiment with some bud grafts on this tree. And the this these trees are shade trees. And I got some uh, seed pods off of them that were, this was growing in a, a restaurant parking um, area on the uh, little islands in the, in the parking area and it was full of um, seed pods and some of the seed pods had already dropped to the ground so I know that the gardeners would have come and just uh, raked those up and thrown them away but I grabbed them and I I started these things from seeds and uh, they're doing really well I got two of these but um, because the seeds that are in these actually almost look like a, a larger apple seed I'm just going to see if I can graft an apple and a pear onto this tree. And I've got some really good healthy bark down there. So I'm going to try it down at that point where the sap is really flowing and see if I can't get something out of that. When I do that, I will um, try to set up my tripod and show you a couple of different, different graphs. I'll do a bark graft and I'll do a uh, bud chip graft so you can see how they both work. And I'll do them on the, just on this tree. I won't do them on that tree because if it causes any problems with the tree, then I'm going to have to do something to save the tree because I don't want to lose it. And I could always take a branch off of that one, cut this trunk down, and graft a branch back into it so I can uh, fix it if it's partly bad. Now, you just heard a gunshot go off over there, as I did. They don't sound like they're very far away.
Yep. Yep. They don't sound very far away. And somebody coming down the road on a dirt bike. I can hear from where they're coming from, but I can't see them. So they must be down low in the in a trench or something. Anyway, all right, coming into here. So I grafted a big scion, a chantangelo scion, right at the top of this tree right here, and I'm pretty sure that this is a lemon tree. So I used, on this one, I used a V-cut wedge graft right into the top of the trunk. And then I um, covered it with the uh, uh, Placetina, or the uh, play, uh, modeling clay. It's an earthborn uh, or an earth uh, type of clay, so it won't hurt the tree. And then I wrapped it all up in plastic to keep it uh, from drying out. Down there I did a bark graft, and then I did a bud graft on the side of the, the, the trunk. We'll see how those go. Here I did a bark graft on this one, and these are all tangelos. That one there I did a, a bark graft on. I wasn't really happy with the way that one uh, uh, grafted in because the trunk was a little bit too skinny and a little too young. And uh, we'll see if it takes, if it doesn't clip it off I'll patch the uh, tree and go from there now I got some um, scions from my friend Bill's avocado tree I did a, a bark graft on the main trunk down here on the other side of it I did one on the the new stem that's growing here and then up here I did a, a, a bud chip graft on the side of the, uh, the the main trunk so I got three grafts that I did on that one and see how those go all right, last but not least, we're coming over here. And my apple trees that have the multiple apples already on them. This one was from 2019. This one's from 2020. I added on Sharon apples. That's a Sharon apple uh, scion there, and that's a Sharon apple scion there. But I also did Sharon apple um, bud graft right there. Okay, so the, the bud grafts, are uh, I did another one down here those usually take but they, they you can't really tell until next spring if they take ne the next spring those are going to start growing a new branch like these branches and uh, by the end of next spring it'll look like one of these so we'll see how that goes I've got them tagged with the green tape tags that I make We'll see how that works out. In the meantime, I am going to close this video off and uh, go inside and have myself a cold one. Today was a pretty nice day. I got one more um, uh, scion here. I took the uh, bud chip off of, and I can cut it down, and I can still use this scion for one more graft. This is the uh, Tangelo. Um, so I'll see what I can do with that. Um, the other extra scions I had, I actually put um, two of the avocado scions in there, and I'll see if I can propagate them. They, they usually don't propagate very well, but uh, we'll see what I can. I, I, uh, I did some work on the bottoms of those, and if it works, that if that experiment works, then I'll show you how I did that. If it doesn't work, then I'll throw those out, and I'll, I'm not going to admit that I tried it. <laughs> all right everybody that's all i have for today but uh, i'll be uh, getting back to you showing you some of the other things i did there's another um scion down there from the avocado tree i just stuck in the ground see if that takes everything i stick in that pot seems to take so we'll see what happens with it all right everybody thanks for joining me don't forget to give me a thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments and questions all the way at the bottom. And if you'd like to see more about how the uh, graftings are done and you want to see a, the actual step-by-step -step of a graft, I'll be glad to do that for you. This is G-Bear signing off.